Hey guys, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. How are you all doing? Uh, today I have finished one list and I am actually not all that well. Something's disturbing my voice for the last few days. So I was trying to take a day's break and then I was back. But today again, after doing the reviews, it's voice bothering a little bit. It's basically weather change, I think. Most probably climate change. It's extremely hot and humid already now, around 29, 30 degrees. One week back also we had kind of cool weather going on. So anyway, this year is going to be hot weather, a uh, hot year. Uh, but I decided to do like a video discussing something morning thoughts regarding fragrances. I'll just speak of one topic, perhaps couple, okay? But I don't have anything in mind, just a free flow talk, okay? Hopefully you're doing good, you're in good health and uh, everything else is happening okay with you. If you're going through some tough times, you know, uh, be strong out there. Uh, the world is getting kind of like an unresting place, you know, everywhere there is just war, hatred, you know, politics, corruption, poverty, hardly any happiness you know the climate changes also everything is just like our greed and our selfishness sort of like causing and also the corrupt politicians ruining the world a little bit but uh, we pray you know for better days so today's topic i would like to discuss is that uh, the initial i don't know how i'm gonna put a headline or title for this but i want to discuss something like um, the infatuation of fragrances versus having them for a long time and then after effect you know i'm going to compare this with a little bit with our real life so you'll see as you go so thing is check this when we are a collector like let's say we are all in this fragrance game for a long time and our interest in fragrances are immense right <coughs> sorry and we look for fragrances whenever something new comes out we just go and run we just like book it you know we just uh, tell our sellers please send it to me we cannot wait so what it hap you know, why it happens, it just doesn't happen with something just like fragrances. When you buy a new car, for example, I'll go one by one. If you buy a new car, you know what happens? You love the interior smell. If you love washing the car, you always like look for it like, oh, there's a scratch. We're like, ah, you know, or you just keep it clean for at least few months, like two, three months. Then you get used to it, right? You get used to the car. And then slowly, yeah, some people still continue to take, the, take care of the car, but you don't go... Uh, just go to the car to like just sit in the car feel the new ac smell you know you don't do that after three months four months down the line because you got used to it so it's very normal let's say you got a watch you know like you're a watch game you are uh, enthusiastic about watches i collected like i'm not a big i would not call myself a collector of watch because i don't spend uh, on expensive watches but i get you know like there are brands i can afford casio or uh, seiko or you know something like that you know like those houses so uh, for me, when I research, like even for these watches, they are like, let's say I am looking at a watch, $55, $65. And uh, until I get it, I this excitement works, you know. Um, I cannot sleep at night. I'm like, when am I going to get that, you know. So we have that problem. I'll call this a problem because we cannot wait. Some of us, we just would love to get it right now. Like we cannot wait the next day or shipping time, two, three days. We are not very patient sometimes. So what happens, what I'm trying to say here, once you get that product, let's say you are wearing that watch. So let's say, I'll just give you an example. Okay, let's say this is one of my new watches. This is a Q&Q, &Q, like a very uh, affordable watch. But, you know, uh, there was a time, you know, let's say, I'll just give you an example. What watch? Um, let's say uh, this, this watch, okay? This is one of my favorite watches. This is like a Seiko, I think, Seiko 5 Sport Automatic. Uh, this is one of my favorite watches okay this is i think inspired by i think uh, one of the rolex watches submariner it's a tribute to that it's a very beautiful watch still okay and this watch is one of my favorite so when i saw it one of my brothers he told me brother would you like to take this i got it from one of my brothers for a very good price and as until i got it i was very excited i used to wear it every day when i slept i wore that so after that what happened as time progressed after one year two year i started getting more watches so whenever i get a new watch i wear that like for a whole week uh, and then after a while then i look for like my older watches i i sort of like uh, do sort of like a mix up and then i start looking for new watches <laughs> why is that because our nature is like this we are very much in love with something when you get at first and i'll give you a bad example some of you will agree some of you may not agree when you are seeing a person you know like let's say we're interested in a person so this i'm going to come back to fragrance i swear when you meet a person we're always interested like wow she as a guy let's say imagine when you're young let's say you want to meet someone new you always feel excited like she this person i don't know i need to know her 
you know uh, i need to discover what she likes you know and she's so unpredictable and that unpredictability factor it just always kept you on that you know on your on the run you'd be like hey i have to impress her you know i have to do this then as time progress you start dating you know they get used to each other sometimes the love stays same or better it gets better but highly likely many cases they are like people go busy with their mobile phones right and they sit at dinner and you see as husband wife that's the worst <laughs> nowadays when you get married and you just like look in your phone yeah i, I like some soup yeah, yeah, yeah you you order whatever you want to order you see that you know and these things happen because people i think forget over time how much they loved let's say talking about fragrances you know today i did uh, like uh, what do you call list let's say fragrance like this one it featured mugler cologne when i did not have that i watched reviews i wanted to smell it so bad trust me that fragrance like bar of soap i spring and then i'm like damn i need that bottle you know 300 ml bottle looks so nice but over time what happens is you keep using it then you found many other fragrances which do the same thing and better and you do not reach for it like before you see what i mean you didn't lose your love for it but you're not using it that much so what happened between infatuation the early days of fragrance and versus after using it for few weeks or even nowadays few weeks people are so into collecting they get bored of the fragrance very quickly so is there any solution to this you know your nose gets uh, bored and this is kind of like a sickness you know i i understand this from a layman's term i'll tell you uh when you get fed up of your fragrance quite quickly you actually are addict more addict than a fragrance enthusiast do you know what i mean uh you actually need to smell need to show uh, you need to showcase like a new fragrance to you know keep yourself satisfied that i am a real true collector i'm a really uh, frag head you know serious but in that process you end up buying 1500 2000 fragrances and you don't even know where you kept some of your fragrances you know one day you find out you open your drawer and then you suddenly find there's a bottle of full bottle of aquamara and you thought you don't have amara anymore and you become ah <laughs> so happy but uh, it happens you know when you have too much you know that's when it happens when you buy in clothing i'll suggest to every one of you make sure you buy something you use it even if you're rich even if you're poor it doesn't matter if you are just an average joe um, appreciate everything you've got in your life you know like i try to you know utilize everything in my life i'll show you one thing you know before i finish i just want to show you one thing uh this phone that i have with me this is a 2016 i bought this from malaysia before he left this phone is uh, with me for 6 years now and the phone starts showing its age it went off one day i did many videos with it you know i went many places with it so many memories and i do not change my phone every 2 3 months when new phone comes out that's not me i like to utilize anything that i have until it wears out okay so I finally changed the phone the phone I'm using is a new phone today and I also have my other phone which is this uh this is good too uh but at times you need to upgrade so I would tell you you know always go with uh, always avoid too much of wastage always avoid something you feel you need but actually you want okay there's a difference between need and want you need food okay uh, but uh, you don't need a fragrance you want a fragrance so tell yourself that that okay i'm taking responsibility next month so i cannot sp- i already spent 100 dollars on this cologne so i'll sacrifice and adjust somewhere else but imagine you end up buying more and you just went on credit next month you have to pay that extra money right in the process that's still okay you bought the fragrance but in the process let's say you regret your buying decision and you get bored you bought a whole line of fragrances which is very uh big thing i'll just tell you if you buy a whole line of fragrance let's say you want a gentleman line you're a collector you collect everything but i can tell you one thing one person cannot absolutely love all of them in one line you know it's not possible there's something for everybody you know like let's say you want gentleman cologne some people like edt some people edp edt intense <coughs> sorry so uh, when you see that you know i would say if you're not a collector if you don't have the space or extra cash do not do that okay uh, because you'll end up not using a fragrance the bottle will remain full just as a collection it's a waste right so that it's very natural to like a fragrance early days the excitement you sniff you spray you sniff you can wait and then next week you forgot about it that's kind of sad right so i'm pretty sure it happens with many of you uh, that's why do research and make sure you take your time you cannot be impatient in this game which i am sometimes because for the review sake i sometimes just just say send it you know this month even last month i bought at least seven or eight fragrances extra i didn't need to buy them just out of excitement but i remember 
I heard discontinued. So my bottle was running low. I just immediately sent me one, you know. So bought few fragrances, but impulse buying. This is what you have to be very, you try to control, okay. I cannot say stop it today, you know, uh, because if you, the same thing telling the smokers stop smoking is bad for your health. Don't, don't you think they don't know? They do. They know there's a risk of cancer, but they keep smoking because it's a habit, you know. So any addiction is a very bad habit, you know. No addiction is good. You have to learn to enjoy in a positive way, which is coming from me. It's still a bit hypocritical, but I try to enjoy my fragrance. If I don't like it, I sell it off, okay. So if you bought, say, something uh, like extra and you don't like it, if you're not using it, swap it or sell it and buy something that you really like, okay. Um, it's very normal to get you bored of your fragrances, but uh, learn to study, you know, do not feel fragrances just for good for two days or one week and you get bored of it. Then, you know, uh, it's more of a burden than uh, enjoyment, right? So those are the things I want to discuss today. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you put some insight and let others know or let me know what you feel, how, how you feel about that. Uh, or are you like a two or five cologne guy? Like, let's say you keep rotation only within 10. You don't go more than 10. Great discipline, okay? Are you that type of person or you just use one fragrance for rest of your life? That's it. Which makes sense. You can have 10 backup bottles and endless supply. You can also do that. So what kind of fraghead are you? How do you feel about this uh, matter that do you get bored of your fragrance very quickly or you give them time, create memories, how it's supposed to be? Take care. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.